someone's doing donuts, the neighbor's dogs are going crazy. We're gonna do a gear review. All right, so this is the Campy Gear two-in-one portable propane stove and heater. So this thing works as a stove, you can put stuff on top. Um, it came with a little pot uh, and pan combo thing. Um, so we used it at home, just tried it out. It worked really good uh, the first time we did it. Um, it does have a little knob on here. You start at uh, minimum to maximum, it just regulates the amount of fuel that you're getting so you can turn the heat up low or high. Um, it has a uh, hose on it with an adapter that connects to a one pound uh, propane tank. Uh, it also, it comes off and they have the small canisters that are uh, about that big, I forget the size of them. Uh, it screws right in the bottom so you don't have to deal with the hose. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Um, the handle actually doesn't get too hot when you're when you're using it so you can pick it up and move it after you've used it. Um, but when we brought it out to use it for the first time, I noticed that there's a lot of heat discoloration on the top of the stove portion of it. Um, and there was a leak somewhere or a clog in the hose. I haven't figured out exactly what it was, but um, it wasn't getting the right mixture and this thing actually basically flashed and was making huge flames out of it and was extremely dangerous. Um, so I'll put the video of that right here and this is what happened with it when we used it. Is a piece of shit. So I also have noticed since that incident happened, um, the knob on here, it's supposed to be regulated between a minimum and maximum. Um, once you just twist to the max, it doesn't stop and it completely keeps going. So uh, that should not be doing that at all. So this thing is actually pretty junky for, I mean it's a $50 Amazon special. So I wasn't expecting too much out of it, but I definitely was not expecting it to be as bad as it is. All right, so just make sure the valve is closed when you're first putting it on. Um, just one pound propane tank. Uh, just give you a little demo and see if it still messes up. Sounds like it's working all right right now. Um, I still don't trust it after what happened. Um, oh no, it's having the same issue again, I can hear it. So um, it's just not making a large flame. Uh, you turn it down, turn it up. The, I don't know if the GoPro can catch it, but it has getting flames out of it right now. It's kind of hard to see because it's daytime, but uh, definitely not how it's supposed to be. Just kind of a little small flame, kind of like, um, one of those like heaters that you see at like a restaurant or something like that, but it's definitely not the safest thing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and mail it back to them. And yeah, I can smell it. It smells like something's burning in it right now. Um, so just a uh, not a quality product. It does have an open flame, so you have to be careful about using it in enclosed spaces. So uh, one thing we picked up, we picked up a it was like 15 bucks. It was a carbon monoxide alarm uh, made by Kitty. Uh, it works good, it just reads the parts per million right on the screen. Uh, I just take one of the batteries out when I'm not using it and just have it in the car with me for if we're using it in any enclosed spaces or anything like that. Um, it's not really safe to put in a tent. It says that there's a warning on it that you can't use it on a tent, but also they're, one of their things that they promote it on is it's, it's tent safe. But with the open flame um, and what happened, like in the video I showed you, um, definitely not tent safe and I don't want to be finding out what it's like to be in a tent that's on fire. Uh, probably not fun. So what we did instead is we got 
this. And this is the medium size, the portable buddy Mr. Heater. Um, this thing's a lot more user friendly. It's a lot safer. Uh, it does have a grate on it. Um, it does have a uh, tip sensor in it, so it will shut off if it tips over or um, if there's any issues or anything like that. that it, will, it has the safety feature to shut off. Um, it's really, really, really easy to use. Um, so I'll show you real quick. So again, just one pound propane. It attaches right here on the side. So you have four options on top. Right now it's off. So you push it down, move it over to pilot. So go to the pilot light, pull it down, and then move it to low. And then this face will ignite on there. And then you can just move it. You have to press it down just a little bit. You can move it to high. Um, low uh, again open flame a uh, little more safe if you want to use it in the tent um, again I'm bringing a CO alarm don't do what I do if you don't feel comfortable with it like so um, we have it in a safe spot in the tent obviously I'm not gonna use it if we have the dogs in there with us if they knock it over or anything like that but this thing puts off a good amount of heat and then we're not gonna sleep with it on so um, if I can keep an eye on it just keep the tent going uh, keep going in the tent but we're not gonna again we're not sleeping with this thing on there so just don't trust it with the material the tent's made of but this thing has been a lot better um, way more safe uh, and it was $20 more than the Mr. Heater Buddy that almost blew up and killed us but uh, other than that that is a review on those two items um, I'm gonna go Mr. Heater over the Campy Gear any day of the week and contact them and get a refund and send that thing back because that thing was way too dangerous to be using so that's our first gear review so thanks again for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and we got some more gear that we'll be reviewing some more episodes of us going out camping fishing doing stuff like that with our dogs and uh, we'll see you guys again soon